that might be mine. All right, so it is 7.42. I roll into Copart, D.C. And I thought it was odd that they let appointments come in at 7.30 because all Coparts are like, you know, 8 to 4.30 they load out. Well, let me make an appointment for 7.30 and I was here at 7.30. I roll in and there's two nine cars here and uh, there's a guy out on the loader. Well, this guy has all these cars staged out here for these nine cars. Like he was here early, got all these cars staged. All right, they're detaching so they can load the stingers on the back of the truck and everything like that. And uh, I'm sitting here, no, not even, I didn't even get parked. And he's already bringing my car out and loading me before 8 a.m. So it's already on me. I just um, had to hop in the truck and shut the truck off real quick. I'm going to strap this down and uh, get on the road. And just like that, out of Copart for 8 a.m. And this is my competition. Alrighty, well, back here again. Let's see if we can get this van out this time. They set all the equipment out of it this time. But then they dropped the bomb on me that it doesn't run. So I'm probably gonna call rollback because I don't think, I don't have a winch obviously on this trailer. Even if I did, I don't even think I can get back here. So I'm gonna have to call rollback and have him just set it on the back of my trailer, which is okay. Then the other thing is we need to figure out is uh, key is stuck in the ignition on that other one so i think somebody left it on so it's just got a dead battery i have a brand new battery in my truck i can stick in that in that van to get it running um if it's that bad i also have my jump box jumper cables everything on me but there's our van still got some stickers on it but i guess they took the sun belt ones off so in the office here and yeah there's no way i would even be able to get back here so rollback's probably going to be necessary or i could just have a dead battery and they're just lazy who knows go 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 now i got it running so let's get her out at least to the truck it said it had a transmission issue, but it's probably only if it gets hot. So, we'll just have to uh, maneuver some things around here and try to stay out of the way. At least we got it out here to the truck. I'm just going to let it run, though. Well, again, I guess we call, call me the van man, baby. So, noticed on this one. Serpentine was broke. Serpentine belt was broke. So what I did was I drifted it off and I actually pulled it up with this one. So these things are beat up anyway, so don't don't scold me in the comments. This guy rebuilds these, that's why I bought them like this. So use that one to pull this one up. Um just got this one where I want it, gonna back this one back down as far as I can. Strap them down and we go. <coughs> This has been sitting here for a few days. Well, what do you think the problem was? You ever look at someone and just wonder what is going on inside their head? So it's been a busy week. I am working on a lot of things behind the scene, which is nice. It's just uh, gets a little tricky when you're on the road, especially like filling out applications and everything or uh, paperwork. So switching fuel cards, more on that later. Um, factoring companies signed up for, what else? Um, that's about it right now that I can think of. Uh, we're actually getting ready, can't see because of all the salt on everything. But we're actually getting ready to switch trucks from the single cab to the mega cab and head to Florida. So that's, um, I'm just happy to go to Florida. Hey, it's warm down there and the freight that I'm, that I'm 
going to Florida. Four is coming out of Florida, so that's where I make my money. Um, instead of trying to like get cars off the load board or something out of Florida and dealing with all that mess. But anyways, catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Oh yeah, in like 30 couple days, I have a full-time office person. So where I don't have to fill out all that paperwork and that will be spectacular. Oh, just getting ready for another trip. This thing got an oil change. It also got a new front brake pads, brake rotors, and both calipers. Calipers were kind of crappy, so I went ahead and replaced those. The one caliper was leaking a little bit of brake fluid through the boot. It's like seeping. And then I went and took the other one off and it, on the piston itself, it was like, maybe whoever did brakes last on it, like, was having trouble getting the one back because they like demolished it. It was like, instead of rounded edges, it was like, I don't know what they use. But anyways, got this van here. Just loaded it up on the trailer. This one goes to Florida with me. But I just realized I haven't even driven this thing since I put the brakes on. So I'm gonna strap this down, take this around the block before I leave, make sure everything's all right. Cause I ran out of time the other day. I had to bleed the brakes and get a shower and change and go do some family stuff. So check that over and then hopefully get on the road soon. Well, this might be one of the worst loves I've ever been to. All right, I'll tell you one of my secrets, guys. Don't say never did anything for you. South of the border, all right? Everybody knows where this is on 95. North Carolina, South Carolina border. One of my favorite places to sleep is back here. Now, only at night. During the day, there's a shooting range that I learned out the hard way because I uh, woke up thinking I was being shot at. There's a truck stop back here. Pedro's truck stop. And most of the time, there's parking. See a guy parked over here on the street, but, oh yeah, always parking. There's a motocross track back here too. So, um, that'll also keep you up during the middle of the day, but, no, oh, that's why that guy's parked there. He's oversized. Usually more than enough parking back here to get some rest for the night. A couple campers. And, but potholes, gotta deal with potholes. But that's my secret. Don't say I never told you anything. So got parked here and I actually forgot to tell you about McDonald's story or that Loves and Skippers Virginia how terrible it was showers were like I don't know maybe like a 2 out of a 10 it was a hot shower so I wasn't complaining that bad I was in and out um but so I go I'm like I need something to eat go ahead and like I need something so I was like well Anything here's a McDonald's. I don't want any roller food. It's like, I just need, I need something hot. So I was like, I just get a double cheeseburger. Plain double cheeseburger, cheese in it. And uh, that'll be it. Like, I just need something small. Cause I, I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna stop tonight. I'm gonna be hungry later. I just get something small. And this was about 10 o'clock, right before. Um, it was right before 10 o'clock when I stopped. So anyways. I, uh, I was standing there and like I said, all I got was that in a large Coke. Gives me my cup, I gotta get my Coke. Standing there and I'm on my phone cause I've been driving for five, six hours. So I'm like catching up on like, see if I have any emails, scrolling through TikTok, whatever. And I'm like, man, this is taking awful long. So I wait another couple minutes and it, at this point it's been 10 minutes. I'm like, all right, well they're not that busy. Maybe the drive is busy. Well, it's been 15 minutes total and the lady comes up because I'm like peeking around like seeing like what's going on she comes up and goes are you 757 order 757 I was like yeah I am she's like well I was just seeing if you were still here I was like thinking to myself what well, do people just get get mad and just leave then and then they have this food sitting there but oh well 
it uh beggars can't be choosers oh morning time i've been on the road for a couple hours now but uh getting out the stretch get us some waters had a little bit of a close call this morning had somebody uh merge onto the interstate in front of me and uh what happened was i was in the slow lane let me walk back here away from this reaper i was in the slow lane and uh i saw we were coming up to a, an on-ramp and uh saw a truck coming on so i looked in my mirror to get over well i got a car right beside me so i can't get over well, the vehicle that was in front of me in the slow lane decides that they're gonna dip off onto the on-ramp and like, like I guess they had to like, I don't know, pull off real quick, use a restroom or something. Well, when the truck saw that, that was getting on the highway, he thought that was his, you know, free motion to just come out into the slow lane. He was only doing about 35 miles an hour. Thankfully, the person that was beside me in the fast lane saw what was going on and kind of eased over onto the shoulder and I kind of took split the lane in half because we were going 70 miles an hour and that guy just came out in front of us at 35 so shout out to whoever that was that saved us all there I don't know who needs to hear this but I think they need some more no parking signs Great use of taxpayer dollars. Well, we made it to pick up. We still got this thing on the trailer, but uh, it's this building here. See what we're working with. See if maybe I can park it right here. See what she says.